in this week's In Flight 2 Minutes. Emirates has unveiled a new business class cabin following a $150 million investment to refurbish the 10 existing 777-200 LR aircraft in its fleet. While retaining the same design and shape of Emirates' latest lie flat seats with champagne coloured finish and diamond stitch pattern on the full leather cover, the business class seats are 2 inches wider. With a pitch of 72 inches and ability to move into a fully flat sleeping position, the seat includes touchscreen controls for the seat and in-flight entertainment system, several personal lighting options, privacy panels between seats, a shoe storage area, footrest and a personal minibar. In other news, GoGo -Go has made the announcement that Michael Small has decided to step down from the role as a director of GoGo. -Go. In the aftermath of the decision, Oakley Thorne has been appointed president and CEO. The Thorne family is the largest GoGo -Go shareholder, owning approximately 30% of the company's outstanding common stock. As part of a multi-million pound investment in its economy cabin experience, Virgin Atlantic is to introduce three new ways to fly. According to Virgin, Economy Delight will offer passengers a 34-inch legroom, priority check-in and boarding, as well as advanced seat assignment. Economy Classic will offer free seat assignment, enabling families and groups to sit together. And the new Economy Light ticket will always offer Virgin Atlantic's lowest fare and will permit hand luggage only. This week it was revealed that British Airways has revamped its World Traveller Plus and World Traveller Cabins on its Boeing 777 fleet with new seats. The new World Traveller Plus and World Traveller Cabins, which have been fitted with elegant new seats with 50% large entertainment screens, will roll out across the airline's fleet of 10 long-haul aircraft based at Gatwick. That's all for this week. For more news and information, subscribe and follow us on social media.